And God wants to take you into the bedroom. God wants to take you into this place where He can reproduce Himself. Where life begins. That's where children are born. In the bedroom. You follow me? Brother Graham said that's when relationship is complete. We don't want partial relationship. We want full relationship with Almighty God. Amen? Amen. Now watch this. I'm gonna just, uh, i got two more and we'll close and we'll finish it later. He said, now notice, what if this little bride, remember, they went to the, the kitchen, they ate. They went into the living room. They made promises. They embraced each other. They sat on each other's lap. But now watch this. He said, notice, what if this little bride will come in and sit on his lap? But she's too bashful. She don't want to go into the room. She don't want to go into a complete fellowship and relationship with her husband. He said, there'll never be any more life now. He said, that's the way it is today. We claim to be the bride of Christ. We claim we're the bride. And if we're the bride, we're to bring forth children. We're not ashamed of the gospel. Amen? Amen. So that's where it is. Life is in the bed. Life is in the bedroom. Now watch this. Marriage and divorce. Do you know the reason the prophet of God said that he put Luther away in divorcement? Wesley, the messengers... Do you understand why God put him away in divorcement? I'll, I'll read this to you. Marriage and divorce. He said, and so is it with the church that refuses to become pregnated in the age that we are living in now to bring forth children of this age. Okay? They refuse. Watch this. He said, we're not Lutherans. We're not Wesleys. Neither are we Pentecostals. We've got to bring children of this age Amen. through the pregnancy of the Word of God to bring forth a child of this age. Amen. The seed child. Amen. I hope you understand. Amen. So the reason God put Luther away, he refused to become the furtherment of the Word. Amen. Amen. The reason he put, Brother Bam said a man could put away his wife if she refused a child with him. Right? That's the reason God put the messengers away. They refuse to go into the bedroom and bring forth a child of the age. You follow me? Everybody, amen? amen. Say amen if you heard that. Amen. That's the reason he put them away in divorce, but they refused to become a furtherment of the word. Now watch this. Closing. He said, now the first Adam walked out with Eve. Now listen to this. How many want to be in fellowship by relationship with God? Amen. You have to go from the kitchen. You have to go from the living room. Now you have to go into this secret place, this hidden life with God where it's you and God alone. Where you can go before God. I don't care if everybody else backslides. I don't care if anybody else serves God. I'm in here. I'm your wife. I'm going to make love to my God by His Word. I'm going to bring forth a child of the Word by a living manifestation of God in my life. I'm not satisfied in the kitchen. I'm not satisfied in the living room. I'm going to move into the bedroom with God and bring forth the Word. Amen. Fellowship in completeness is what He calls this. Now listen to this, harvest time, and we're closing. He said, now the first Adam walked out with ease because she was deceived. He said, there had been somebody here in this Laodicea, she no different. Listen to this closely. Yes, sir, because she, talking about the, the wife, she put him out of her bed, her room. He was on the outside knocking, trying to get back in. Why was Christ on the outside of this church knocking? Behold, I stand at the door and knock. He was at the bedroom door knocking, saying, yes. let me in so I can have fellowship by relationship incomplete. Amen. Amen. They put him out. The prophets of the church put Jesus Christ out. I don't want to bring forth word children. I don't want to bring forth message children. He's on the outside of the bedroom. And the only way life can come is to let Christ the word in to bring forth life. Amen. She put him out. Yes. Amen. She didn't have fellowship by completeness, did she? Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's all stand. Amen. We'll finish it again later. I can't believe it. Time flies. Oh, praise the Lord. There's no, that's right, brother. You know, Brother Bram said in the Pentecostal church, you know, he said they, 
He said that there was a summit. The Pentecostal said we reached the summit when we received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And Brother Graham said there is no summit to God's Spirit. God's Spirit goes on and on and on and on and on. Church, don't stop with your walk with God. Keep moving. I don't care how hard times get. How hard the finances get. Yes. How many persecutions come against you. Amen. Whatever you do, don't stop. Keep walking with God. Amen. Have a relationship Amen. with God. Amen. A fellowship by a relationship. Yes. Serving regardless of what happens. Yes. Amen. Amen. A lot of people, they fall off on the way. When Brother Brandon was preaching the statue of the perfect man, that's what happened. He said many Christians are not, they're not built right. They don't have faith. Virtue, knowledge, temperance, patience. Amen. And Brother Graham said this is an age of uncertainty. Yes. Isn't he? That's Everything's right. uncertain. Right, Brother Jared? Our jobs right. are uncertain. Yes. We don't know if we're working tomorrow, the next yes. day. This is uncertain. Married life is uncertain. National life is uncertain. Everything's uncertain. But one thing you better be certain of is God. Amen. Everything else you can be uncertain of. But be certain that you have an experience. Amen. Be certain the Bible says that, right? Amen. Make your calling in your election what? Sure. Sure. Make sure you have the Holy Spirit in your life. Don't take any chances. If you fall, get up. Amen. Patton, when he was fighting the battle, remember Brother Graham said Patton, the great General Patton, he lost many battles, but he didn't lose the war. Amen. And you'll fight many battles, and you'll lose them, but you're not going to lose the war. Amen. 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 We are predestinated, our day, sons of God, to take the word Amen. and to manifest it, no matter how hard it gets, how many trials, how many devils out of hell can come. You are more than conquerors for Christ. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. God bless you, saints. Amen. I'm going to turn the service oh, over you, to this beloved pastor. How many appreciate Brother Toko? Amen. 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 His faith. Take it a stand for the word. He loves you, people. He loves you with all of his heart. That's all he talks about is his church. Right, Brother Richard? His church. That's all he wants. He wants his people to make it. Amen. Amen. Stay with him. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's a man of God. God bless you, saints.
down and pray. Just begin to pray. He wants to stay in you. He said, a little while the world will see me more, but you shall see me because I'll be with you, even in you. So he wants to abide, to have a complete fellowship with you. Let's sing one more time, all is well. All is well. from the mouth of God. Now we ask you to bless the people now as they give. Bless those who cannot. Let all be for the kingdom, for the glory of the kingdom of God. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.